Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to name a circle, a radius, a diameter, and a chord. Let's jump into our example, starting with naming the circle. Now we name a circle by its center. So this circle would be named circle A because this is our center right here. It's labeled A. And again, we name our circle by the center. So this would be circle A. And it's as simple as that. So again, name a circle by its center. Next, let's name a radius. And actually, we have more than one radius. So we will be naming radii. Radii is the plural form of radius. Now remember, a radius is a line segment that connects the center of a circle to any point on the circle. So a radius is the distance from the center to any point on the circle. We name a radius by using the two endpoints of the line segment. So for example, let's start in the center at point A and work our way to a point on the circle. Let's use point F. So A to F right here, this would be an example of a radius. So what we would do, we take our two endpoints, A and F, and then put the line segment symbol above those two letters that represent the end points. So line segment AF is an example of a radius. Now there are two other radii within our example. So let's start in the center and work our way to point E to show another example of a radius. So we name this by the end points. So A, E, and then put the line segment symbol above our two endpoints. And then the last radius example here would be the center to point D here. So let's write our two endpoints, A and D, and then the line segment symbol above those two endpoints. Now one more thing to keep in mind about the radii of this circle and any circle, they are all congruent. They are all the same length because remember, all points on a circle are the same exact distance from the center. Let's move on to naming the diameter. And remember, a diameter connects two points on the circle and goes through the center. So really, the diameter is a line segment that divides a circle in half or two equal parts. The diameter of our example is right here. So point D goes through the center all the way to point E. So those two radii together equal that diameter. So we use the two end points, D and E, and put the line segment symbol above it. So that tells us that we start at point D and our line segment goes over to point E. Now you may be thinking that we used our diameter to name two of our radii. And that's true. A diameter is twice the length of a radius or vice versa. A radius is half a diameter. So two of our radii create the diameter. And when it comes to naming a radius and a diameter, endpoints are so important because they tell us exactly what line segment we should be looking at and where it starts and ends. Lastly, let's name a chord. And remember, a chord is a line segment that connects two points on the circle. A diameter is a very specific chord that has to go through the center, but a regular chord does not, just any two points on the circle. So this is a chord right here. We can go from point B on the circle to point C. So a line segment that connects two points on the circle. And just like when we name a radius and a diameter, we are going to use those two endpoints. So this would be B, C, the two endpoints, 
and then put the line segment symbol above those two endpoints. So that indicates that we start at point B and then we have a line segment over to point C. And that's an example of a chord and how you name a chord. So there you have it. That's how you name a circle, a radius, a diameter, and a chord. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.